See children, exercise 14.1, question number 3. Question number 1 and 2, whatever method I taught previously, both the method, no. Like that, any one of the method, you can complete that. Question number 3, they are given one of the frequency as missing and written as F. Sometimes they will give here X or P or Q, like that. They will ask you to find out the missing frequency, okay. For that, what we have to do means, first we will see class interval frequency. For doing direct method, these are the column headings. Class interval, frequency, class mark and F5, etc. So first let us see what is the class mark. Lower limit plus upper limit whole divided by 2. So 11 plus 13 whole divided by 2. So what will be the upper limit? Lower limit plus upper limit is 24. 24 divided by 2, 12. Here 13 plus 15 divided by 2. So we will get this as 14. 2 class width difference. So add 2, 2 and write. Okay. So 16, 18, 20, 22 and last one 24. These are the class. Okay. So you add upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2. So class width is same means you can write first one. Then what is the width you see? That width you have to add it. Next class mark you will get automatically. Okay. Then Fi Xi. So what are the two columns? We have to multiply children. This F and this X. F and X. These two. Okay. So 7 into 12. 84. 6 into 14, 84. 9 into 16, 144. 13 into 18, 234. You must multiply in the rough column and check it whether you are getting the same number. Okay. F into 20. F into 20. This is the same column. Okay. Don't get confusion against the columns. 20 into F, we will have 20 F. Okay, don't write 20 plus F, 20 F. Then, 5 into 22, 110. 4 into 24, 96. So, see children, we must find out the sigma Fi as well as sigma Fi X. So, sigma Fi means... One variable is there, the rest everything numeral. So first what we have to do, we have to add the numeral plus F. Okay. So 44 plus F is the sigma Fi and sigma Fi itself. 20 F is different compared to the other numerals. So all the numerals you have to add it plus 20 F you write. So if you are adding all the numerals, you will get 752 plus 20 F. Okay. That is sigma Fi itself. So, in direct method, x bar equal to, what is the formula? Sigma Fi, direct method. So, missing frequency finding sums, you can use this method that it is easy for you for calculation. Okay, direct method. Instead of assumed method, you can use this one. Assumed method method also easy only, but you people some will make mistakes. So, instead of that, you can apply this formula x bar equal to fi xi divided by sigma fi that is equal to substitute our values they are given that the frequency of this is you see the question third question they are given the data as 18 mean of the following distribution is 18 like that one sentence is there in the question you read Exercise 14.1, question number 3, they are given that the following distribution shows the daily pocket allowance of children of a locality. The mean pocket allowance is rupees 80. The mean is given in the question data itself. For finding the missing frequency, automatically they will give the mean. Okay. So the mean x bar is given in the question data, given x bar equal to a, rupees 80. Okay. So, x bar place, you have to substitute the value 18. 18 equal to 752 plus 
twenty f whole divided by forty four plus f. So see children, a equal to b by c format it is given. So you have to cross multiply that. So what you will write eighteen into forty four plus f equal to seven fifty two plus twenty f. Remove the bracket. Eighteen into forty four seven ninety two plus eighteen f equal to seven fifty two plus twenty f. F value you have to transform to one side and the numeral you have to transform. So seven ninety two minus seven fifty two is equal to twenty f minus eighteen f. Seven ninety two minus seven fifty two. What you will get? Forty, isn't it? Forty is equal to eighty. Yeah, sorry, twenty f minus eighteen f two f. So two f equal to forty. So f is equal to forty divided by two. So f value f equal to two. So what will be the missing frequency? Therefore, the missing frequency is two g. That f represents the missing frequency. That we got as twenty. Understood clearly, children? So they will give class interval and frequency. They ask you to find out the arithmetic mean. Otherwise, they will give one of the frequencies as accent. Instead of that, they will write in variables. They ask you to find them. In that cases, they will give the arithmetic mean to you. Okay, then only we can write and substitute that values. Okay. So understood both the different kinds of questions.